Peace and greetings, everyone. I want to do a uh, quick little review on um, these two boards, and we're going to see what the difference is between the ESP S3 Uno and the very popular Arduino uh, Uno. Um, they have very similar setups, but you know, if you're just starting up, uh, you might want to take a better look at this ESP32 S3. All right, so here are the two boards. Here's a little close-up. So as you can see, they're kind of designed um, the same exact. Obviously, this is the um, super popular Arduino Uno. And this is usually recommended to newbies. Um, as you can see, it has lots of pins. It has 14 uh, input-output pins all along here. Uh, one set of URT, RX, RX. And then it has um, a USB uh, connector to plug it in, or you could uh, power it up with the DC port for five volt. And you could do uh, quite a bit with this. <clears throat> they try to make it um, easy for beginners so you can uh, you know, easily plug your wires in Obviously, don't plug them in like that, but <clears throat> you know it's a nice um, standpoint. But there's a few things um, this Arduino Uno doesn't really offer. Um, does not offer Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Um, does lack uh, pins. Definitely doesn't have as much as the ESP32, and um, it's also kind of pricey. Um, Luckily, I got this in a uh, mixed box of things. Um, but normally, I think this is, you know, either 15 to 20 plus dollars if you get it from uh, the official site. Um, obviously, there's tons of clones, so you can get, uh, probably get it for five bucks, but have a little uh, closer look at this. And um, has some um, pens for programming. But <clears throat> we have something that I believe is even better and um, even better for beginners um, is this uh, super capable ESP32 S3 Uno. Um, so it takes the, takes the uh, ESP32 S3 Room 1 chip and it um, <clears throat> puts it on a really nice uh, development board. Like this is what it's normally on um, as the dev board. Um, but this really makes it uh, more accessible. So uh, this one has way more pins than the Uno, the Arduino Uno, has 45 uh, input output pins. So it has, um, the same row here, but it also has um, a whole bunch more that you can add <clears throat> some header pins just like that, or you could add, um, you know, so you could do something like that as well. Um, so it gives you a lot more uh, room to work with, uh, especially if you have a lot of like LED lights or uh, motors or uh, relays and all that stuff. So uh, that's the first reason why um, it's a little better. Uh, more input, input output pins. Number two is that uh, this is $5 um, compared to the Uno. Uh, number three, <clears throat> so this comes with the ESP32 S3 Room 1 um, chip. And uh, this is a super capable chip, so it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and um, there's two versions of this. There's the N8, R8 version, uh, N8, R8, and then there's the N16, R8. And what that means is it's, um, they have either an 8 or a 16 megabyte flash version, and they both have um, 8 megabytes of uh, 
uh, PRAM. So uh, I'm, I don't exactly remember the Uno, I can look it up, but um, it's definitely not 16 uh, megabytes. And this is the 16 megabyte uh, version. If you have um, sketches that are pushing the normal uh, limit, because normally uh, like this microcontroller has like four megabytes. Um, so it's good if you have um, more sp space constraints. So uh, it has more input output pins, cheaper. It has Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth, um, and that's Bluetooth Low Energy, Bluetooth 5, and um, Bluetooth Mesh as well uh, to do a lot more interesting things. Um, so number five is that this also has a uh, U.FL antenna connector. So this, um, a lot of people try and do modifications. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see the antenna trace here. And it um, seems like a pretty simple antenna, or just a pretty simple uh, geometrical line. But there's actually um, a ton of math that goes into this copper tracing to um, tune it to the exact frequency um, that these ESP antennas need to be. Um, so a lot of people try and do mods and add their own. Um, and because of that, ruin their trip. Um, so this has a, a connector. And this is useful if you want to, um, you know, add on, you know, uh, different antenna setups um, for your uh, project. Um, and that's another thing, obviously, the Uno doesn't have because it doesn't have Wi-Fi. Um, so you can add some, if, if you want to get more into antenna design really increase the range <clears throat> of your device. So we're going to look at um, some uh, more uh, in-depth data so you can see really uh, the key differences and why. Um, if you don't really have a preference, you probably should go with the ESP. So here we have the uh, Arduino Uno. So as you can see, uh, I was underpricing it. This is $27, kind of insane, um, especially after the comparison I just gave you. Um, the Arduino Uno, the best board, get started with electronics and coding. Um, and, you know, I just want to say, like, a lot of people don't realize um, when they say coding, like, they should just say C++ or MicroPython because um, all these boards are programmed the same and um, you know you should get started with the best and this is overpriced this uno and clearly as we're about to see not the best so <clears throat> let's keep scrolling down so here we see the tech specs um, it's five volt uh, which may or may not be good for you um, because a lot of things uh, a lot of modules operate off of three volt but you know whatever uh the input output pins 14 uh six pwm and that's useful if you're using uh things that need like pulse as far as um sound or you're using uh, rgb lights um, so it could take uh, 50 milliamps per pin. And uh, here we see 32 kilobytes of flash, um, which is not much. Two kilobytes of SRAM. Clock speed 16 megahertz. That is extremely slow. So you know, if you don't know anything about um, electronics, you know, that's kind of where I feel like they get you um, because those specs are pretty bad. So now we're looking at the um, 
ESP32 S3 Uno uh, product page. And uh, as you can see, one is 516. And for the price of literally five, a five bundle <clears throat> of these, you can get um, for the price of one Arduino Uno. So you get five of these for one of these. And you know, if you're in America too, know that Arduino is an Italian company. So you're not, <laughs> it's not like you're, it's all international. So uh, scrolling down, you can see the uh, pinout. And it's nice too, um, there's also an RGB light uh, here as well, which is uh, pin 48. So we see that um, this model we have here, it has 512 kilobytes of uh, SRAM, which uh, the Uno has two kilobytes, so almost 300 times faster. And um, eight megabytes of PS RAM and 16 megabytes of uh, flash. Um, so yeah, overall, if we're looking at also um, all the other communication it has, um, you know, touch sensor, temperature sensor, um, USB OTG as well, um, you know, so many reasons why this is uh, better. Um, so this USB-C also, you can power things off of it <clears throat> and do uh, serial communication. Um, Obviously, it has the RTC and tons of different security features because it has um, RF. Um, so you can see you could do quite a few things there with also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and dual core uh, processor. And here you could just um, get a closer look into uh, everything it has. But one thing I like is like it has um, various different types of Bluetooth. Um, really fast uh, data communication, but really what's also huge is just tons of uh, input output pins, four different ways to connect uh, via SPI, um, three different UARDs, and then um, I2C, I2S. So really a whole bunch. I mean, even the USB JTAG uh, controller. And one thing is also cool, just the temperature sensors and the RTC. Um, it's kind of a, a no-brainer. All right, so to sum it up, um, this really isn't, was, wasn't supposed to be like a hate video <laughs> on Arduino Unos. Um, you know, it's done a lot. These are fairly new, these ESP S3s, and I think the form factor... Um, is much to be respected. Um, I'll, I'll give them that, but you know, I'd say that's all you're paying for with Arduino. Um, you know, great marketing, great documentation, great presentation. Um, but China just really did way better, you know, especially, um, you know, I get for beginners and they might just want to um, you know, learn electronics, but I feel like this, you'll learn electronics and then have a lot way more to do, um, especially when you're talking about uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You also get to learn uh, IoT, like Internet of Things, wireless lights, wireless sensors. Um, also with the Wi-Fi, you know, you get it into HTML coding. Um, this is a web server. You know, um, so you can get into networking, web development, um, obviously, you know, hardware stuff, um, especially Bluetooth. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different uh, things you could do there. Um, you know, me particularly, there's a lot of cybersecurity and uh, penetration testing things that you could do uh, with this. But with the Uno, you're kind of just left with... Um, 
you know, without all that. And of course, this is good if you, you know, want to get into robotics, um, you know, motors, uh, basic sensors, um, and all of that kind of stuff. You know, um, and there's also tons of clones. Uh, let's see if I can find. So this is um, an Arduino Uno clone. Let's see if you could tell the difference. I mean, China is good. This is almost identical <laughs> without being able to sue somebody. <laughs> so we have this one. You know, and honestly, this is a little bit easier to read. And you can see, made in Italy. They're crazy. And um, this is the real version. Flip them over. Yeah, and um, this Chinese company cloned it 100% down to the made in Italy. <laughs> oh, geez. So um, I think I got uh, 10 of these for about $2 each versus <clears throat> one of these for $27. Um, so you do the math. You know, but if you do want to support them, go for it. But, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I highly recommend at least getting one, uh, especially if you get it from... Uh, you know, online or something. Um, but, you know, for the uh, long run, I highly recommend you um, get this. And then there's a lot of uh, attachments you can get, um, which is what's interesting about the Uno form factor. Um, they have a lot of, uh, they call them hats. So they're different modules. Um, like I say, you, there's like a LCD display module and it goes completely on top of these female pins and um, you know, it's you know, plug and play. So you don't really have to uh, focus on doing anything else. So it might have, um, I would say this is the LCD, so it goes on top and then it has extra pins. So then you can continue to uh, develop uh, whatever you're doing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my review. Um, really, it's up to you for your use case. Um, but I highly don't recommend uh, paying full price uh, for this, uh, especially if you're a beginner. Um, for 28 bucks, you can get a whole assortment. Um, there's quite a lot of different chips that use this form factor. Um, so you could get an ESP, uh, you know, C3, Uno, or, um, you know, different versions of the ESP32. Uh, this is just my favorite one, the S3 um, with the 60 megabytes, because then it really lasts you uh, forever. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions on uh, what direction to go, I'll be glad to help. And I hope you found this helpful. I'll leave some links um, where you can find these and try them out if you like.